What do Tucsonans do when it gets really hot in the summertime? Where do we go when we don't want to drive far, where we can still get hiking trails, water sports, dining, and so much more? One of the best places to escape the heat in Arizona is just a three to four hour drive away from the city of Tucson, and that is Pine Top Lakeside, Arizona. Hey everyone, it's Kimberly, your go-to real estate agent here in Tucson, Arizona, and today we are talking about Pine Top Lakeside, Arizona, where a lot of Tucsonans and Phoenicians have summer homes or book vacation rentals in the summertime. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to follow along with Tucson News and learn more about things to do and see and know about my hometown of Tucson, and when you are ready to buy or sell a Tucson home, all my contact information is in the description below each video on the channel. We have hundreds of videos out about Tucson and real estate. And if you'd like to buy or sell a home in Pine Top or the Sholo areas, let me know and I will get you in touch with a great agent there. At an elevation of about 7,000 feet, Pine Top Lakeside offers clean, crisp air, a star-filled sky, and miles of hiking trails that wind through the world's largest ponderosa a pine forest. With over 200 streams and lakes surrounding the area, this place is a year-round natural playground with endless outdoor opportunities including skiing, fishing, hiking, golf, and boating. Pine Top Lakeside also boasts a wide range of accommodations from hotels to lodges, but most importantly cabins. People flock to Pine Top in the summer from all over, but especially from Tucson and Phoenix because it's the perfect vacation destination for those seeking both adventure and and relaxation. I can't start a travel video like this one without discussing my favorite restaurants in Pine Top Lakeside. My absolute favorite restaurant by far in this town is also one of the best restaurants in the state, and that is Darby's Cafe. This cafe has a down-home feel with a country decor and ambiance with super friendly staff and huge portion sizes. They serve breakfast, brunch, and lunch, and I've never had a bad meal here. So many varieties of Egg Benedict, which of course makes me very happy because that's my favorite. They have all the great breakfast dishes, including biscuits and gravy, pancakes, and some amazing huevos rancheros. You can even start the day out right with a mimosa. They also do lunch here, and the sandwiches and burgers are fantastic. I love the BLT, with a generous portion of avocados added. It is wonderful. You can't go wrong with the burgers here either. What a mouthful. If you haven't had one, we definitely recommend that you try a mule. This is a drink that is made with vodka, ginger, beer, and lime juice. Super Super refreshing. Don't forget to top off your lunch with a cobbler and vanilla ice cream plus the Irish cream coffee with your dessert, of course. If you're looking for a special date night or if you just enjoy fine dining, you should check out the Pasta House. This place is usually packed and has some rules about cell phones and unruly children, but in my world, that is a good thing. Let me tell you, it's that quiet setting with romantic ambiance and the Italian dishes are absolutely amazing here. Our favorites are the ravioli, the fettuccine alfredo, and the baked ziti. Don't forget the amazing tiramisu for dessert. Everything about this place is classy, and this is a great proper place to dine in in Pine Top. Charlie Clark's is where you head when you're in the mood for some steaks. You might have to wait a while, especially on the busy weekend, but that's okay because you can step outside the back and to the orchard where they will probably have live music, good people, and dancing. There's a great lush grass area with lots of shade and trees and a really relaxing vibe. Los Corrales offers delicious Mexican food, and of course I always get my favorites, a margarita paired with chili rellenos. But I also recommend the chimichangas, flautas, and super yummy cheese crisps with green chilies on them. So when you're not eating food, what else is there to do in Pine Top Lakeside? Plenty. If you're a hiker, this place is perfect for you. There are so many trails in the surrounding areas, it would take you years to do them all. And that's if you lived here full time. We like the Springs Trail, which is one of our family's favorites. It's an easy loop trail that features a beautiful ponderosa forest along with wonderful mountain meadows. This is an amazing place to have a picnic or just enjoy nature. We even came across a pack of wild horses on our last trip. Speaking of horses, horseback riding is definitely an option here in Pine Top. The large forest camp
canopy and cooler weather are perfect for a nice horseback ride through the pines and mountain meadows. Pine Top Lakeside is rural, so there are many places to help outfit you with a horseback riding trip. If you're a golfer, there are plenty of beautiful golf courses with big lush trees and bright green fairways. When you're in Tucson, you're usually golfing in the desert, but here it's a completely different feel with that beautiful mountain air. There are several golf courses up here, including the Pine Top Lakes Country Club, which is open to the general public. The setting is just so beautiful. Pine Top is right next to a town called Sholo, which has a great lake to visit called Fool's Hollow. Again, you can rent boats, paddle boards, or kayaks like our family did, and hit the water along with many other activities. This is a hot spot for fishing and camping as well. This state park is a place we highly recommend you check out if you're in the area. When you're on vacation, you gotta hit up the lake, right? A lot of people in the Pine Top Lakeside area like to attend or host events like yard sales, craft shows, and car shows. Our most recent trip had quite the market with some great photography, crafts, and some delicious soup and dip mixes. It's fun to check out the high quality products they have at markets and chat with the friendly vendors. Car shows are always family fun, and come on, old cars are cool to look at. There may even be a fair going on for some more family fun. One of our favorite things to do here is take long, relaxing family walks. So many areas where the cabins are located are in really walkable neighborhoods and the trees provide a lot of shade and the breeze is always very clear and crisp and the pine scent is always rejuvenating. I love the architecture here with all the different unique cabins. The Woodland Lake Trail is a really neat trail that loops all the way around the Woodland Reserve and you can see families of geese and ducks and take in the cool scenery as people fish off the dock and enjoy the relaxing day. There are additional trails breaking off from this one so if you want to do some additional exploring, if you like gambling or going to the casino, the Honda Resort Casino has you covered. They have great food buffets and a lodge for you to stay at if you don't want to rent a cabin. There's also an RV park across the street if you're a long distance traveler living the RV life. On your way out of town, check out the spooky area just outside of Pine Top that looks like an old ghost town on the side of the road. This was actually a project from the early 70s of a resort area that sits outside of Seneca Lake. These buildings look really neat from the road and it seems strange that there's nobody around. The insides are extremely dilapidated and dangerous, so I would not recommend walking into these structures. There's very eerie graffiti along the walls, but some of it is actually quite beautiful. So if you've ever noticed this while you're driving to Pine Top and you feel like you want to get a little bit spooked out, stop on by. I'm sure it's haunted. I hope you've learned a little bit about some things to do in Pine Top Lakeside, Arizona. If you're interested in buying or selling a home here in Tucson, Arizona, I'd love to help you out. All my contact information is in the description below each video on the channel. And there are hundreds of other videos on the channel about things to do and see and know about the city of Tucson. And of course, I can also help connect you with a great real estate agent in the Pine Top Lakeside area if you decide to buy or sell there. Comment below with your favorite things to do in Pine Top, Arizona. And please consider showing the channel some love by liking and subscribing on your way out the door. Check out this next video on things to do in Tucson, Arizona to learn more about my hometown. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next Tucson video.